Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. A quick video on the web automation. If you really want to use this application that I'm going to show you now, it's an open cut application hosted on NaveenAutomationLabs.com. It's a free open source application. Anyone can host it, but I'm having my own domain and I will uh, take care of this application 24 by 7 on my infrastructure. And you don't need to pay anything for this. And uh, this feature is a typical e-commerce application this is like having a lot of features with respect to e-commerce this will give you a lot of confidence that how to design the framework and different use cases different workflows uh, for the e-commerce application like i can search the product making them payment and then add to pro add to cart and everything a lot of things i can do it here we simply go to naveenautomationlabs.com and forward slash open cart that's it so you don't need to worry about this application is down or not. And I have designed the framework today, tomorrow, will this work or not? Because most of the application you see in the market that today it's working, tomorrow it's gone. Because nobody is taking care of that or maybe the they have hosted on some cloud or something. They are not paying for it. And then that's why the application is not working after some time. But for this application, I'll make sure that this is always up to up and running. 24 by 7, 365 days, anytime you can use it, this application from any region, from any country, you can access that. So application is very straightforward. If you see this, uh, you can go to, this is a homepage. This is my logo. And uh, you can do two types of workflow. You can directly without login also, you can access that. Or you can create your own account also from the registration page. There is no fee structure. There is nothing like that. You have to pay something for, Registering the account here, you can just create n number of accounts, data driven testing, everything. What exactly I have done, I have I'm maintaining one Oracle database internally for this, and then I'm taking care of this database. So the entire data is controlled by me only. Whatever the data or user data or product data or any order maintain that you really want to maintain for the specific user, I'm taking care of it internally. It's not like that, that some other third party application is maintaining the database it's taken care by me and the apis and everything is taken care by me only so what we can do here that once we uh, register the account you can just simple after that login so simple login there are no captcha anything you can directly register and you can automate end to end so for example you can use this test automation at the rate demo.com this uh, username password i'll share the username password also later and then good things, search and everything, you can do it here. For example, let's see if I'm searching for MacBook here. And you can see the results with respect to MacBook. You click on any of the product here. Let's say I'm clicking on MacBook. And there are various things, images, everything are coming from my side, from the server. And uh, here you can see number of images. These are the real images are there. If you really want to provide any reviews and everything, description is also there. MacBook Pro and everything. You can just use these kind of concept for the... Uh, in automation also you can use it quantity add to cart give the review rating everything will be displayed over here right for example if you really want to add to wish list you can do it here you really want to compare this product this is also a very nice feature is available in this application that to your product comparison so you can do that as well and you can go to the product comparison here and right now let's see i have one product here and if you really want to search for another product now let's see if i'm looking for uh, uh, iMac as a product and I click on this particular iMac. And then again, I can click on this, compare this product. And I can go to the product comparison list here. Now I can compare two products here. So this is a kind of web table structure that I'm getting. And you can compare that in this column. The MacBook details are there. In this column, iMac details are there. You really want to compare and then add to cart. A typical e-commerce application we are using here. For example, let's say I really want to remove this guy. I can remove it. Then I can make it to add to cart also. And then you can go to your shopping cart and in the shopping cart, you can see that there are some products which are out of delivery or out of uh, stock or something. You can delete the product also from here. You can delete it. Now, let's say I really want to make the payment in the shopping cart. Use the shopping code, any random code you can add it. You really want to add some country and all those things. You can add it here and gift coupon code or something like this. If you are having it, you can add it here as well and simple click on checkout. When you click on checkout, you just need to enter your uh, billing details. For example, let's see something like that. I have returned the delivery details. You can write it here. Simple click on continue. Delivery details, click on continue. Delivery method. So obviously we are just focusing on the, obviously it's a dummy application. So flat shipping rate, we have given $5.
whatever the comment that you really want to write here, you can just simply write here. And then after that, uh, it says that product star with the star star are not applicable or maybe out of stock. So I can just move it here. So these are the negative scenarios. Also, you can test it. And then again, you can just really want to check out again. Let's click on continue again, delivery uh, details, delivery method that I have created payment method. We have supporting cash on delivery. So you can add your comment and COD. Obviously it's a dummy application. So we don't support any a credit card and all those things and simple click on continue after that. After that, you want to make the confirm the order. So yes, you can confirm the order also. So it says your order has been re uh, placed here. You can go to your my account and check the order history from there also you can go that so let's see i'll simply go to my, my my account and check the view previous order history and you can see the complete order history you can check it here who is the customer order id and everything it's a kind of table structure that you are getting once you have more and more products then you can get the pagination also later and uh, status you can see number of products if you really want to see the a complete view of the specific order. You can just click on it and then you can see the complete order history here. So this is not like a very simple uh, random application that we have, uh, that we are using it. It's like a typical e-commerce application having a very good look and feel. Some really good, amazing uh, locators and elements are there. Complete details, you can check it. Either you are using Cypress or Selenium or Playwright or anything. And they can, after that, you can just simply click on continue and then you can see other views also that also we can check it here. So for example, let's see if I really want to, uh, <clears throat> in this particular table order history, I really want to check that for order ID, what is the product name or what is the status? So I can just simply use Selenium locators or maybe XPath locators. I can use it here. I can use the relative locators also in uh, Cypress or in Playwright or Selenium as well. So like this, we can do it. Good things here. And then you can directly go to the a cart also right now the shopping cart is empty and then there are various types of products that i have added for example let's see if you really want to add search for canon so for canon also we have one camera which is also available and then you can see some drop downs also available quantity also here let's see if i'm looking for something uh, else so for example i'll go to the home page and on the home page let's say i'm clicking on iphone here and for iphone you can just see number of uh, details here Again, Apple Cinema 30, which is a suggestion list also coming. And here you can see that for Apple Cinema 30, uh, the number of available options, which are really great. So you can practice your radio button, check boxes, and then again, the whatever the, you know, the color that you can select it here. Upload file option is also available. Date, time, date options also available here and add to cart. So this is like really good. And then uh, the really good for hash map point of view. You can maintain this metadata in the hash map and then you can validate that if you're using with Java and uh, in a dictionary also in the Python, you can use it here as well. So like key and value pair format for the metadata, for the product information, you can store it. A really, really good use cases for the, you know, test automation point of view here. And uh, these images are not the fake images. If you see that these images are the real images and uh, I maintain internally in the database, the images are coming from there, from the background and you can check it from there as well. If you go to a uh, different language support also, we do that. So if you really want to concentrate on the, uh, let's see, like the different uh, currency support also, the Euro, Pound and the US dollars, that also you can check it. So it's also, also a very good uh, use case for the, uh, for the different currency, not language, different currency, right? And uh, if you go to the my account, so this is a current my account page. So we have features like edit the password, sorry, account information, change your password, modify your address book details and everything. Those things also you can do it over here. But from this application, we don't send any email notification. Obviously, email is actually internally. Email notifications are blocked. We don't want to spam anyone. This is just a uh, application. It's a real time application, but uh, obviously real time product is also available, but the real time payment is payments are not happening. Real time changing the password also not happening here. So there is no limit. You can just create n number of accounts. You can log out and then you can create n number of accounts there as well. So if you are using, let's see for the manual testing point of view or any testing projects that you really want to work upon, it's a very good application for the testers who really want to write some test cases. And then you can write some test cases over here. For example, let's see, search for MacBook 
and after searching for macbook i click on let's see macbook air after that i'm doing add to cart then making the payment check out orders and everything so one end-to-end -end test cases uh end-to-end -end test case that you can write it here and then later on if you really want to automate you can automate that as well so especially this application is designed for people who are actually new in automation new in testing and you always ask that can you give me a project where i can show my work so i can you can use this application i don't have any issue with that you can mention in your resume also if you really want to mention that i tried to automate that instead of some other third party application and uh, this is a typical e-commerce application so it will give you a lot of confidence that how exactly we work in the real time application with e-commerce and everything and what are the different scenarios for the ui automation point of view we automate that so you can mention in your resume same thing for automation engineers also if you are justifying your experience in automation you can use this application at time of interview in fact in your resume also open cart application you can mention that here without any problem so you can explore it a lot of good things are there in this application a lot of good products also that we have added here see let's see for example different monitors also that we have added you can see this particular view also and the vertical vertical view as well as the horizontal view also for the menu and sub menu you can uh, check it here as well and uh, if you really want to add some more products you can just let me know maybe i can add some more products later but i don't want to make this application very heavy so with this application you won't feel any like 20 30 seconds of delay you just need a minimal bandwidth of internet and application is super fast and the hosted on uh, on my domain which is having a very powerful machine and everything so you will not get any latency later so it's not like that you are putting a lot of thread dot sleep in your framework or uh, a lot of explicitly wait and all those things that you are using it you don't need to worry about that the locators also i tried myself that okay most of the locators are very straightforward and very easy to write like id and css and the names are available some really good use cases for the xpath point of view like table web table css locators also you can use it for these kind of applications i mean for number of pages you can use it here right so just explore it and uh, i'll do one thing that uh, i'll share in the description of this video i'll share one dummy account you can just explore it or if you want to create your own account also you can do it from here so just log out and then click on register here and then you can fill this uh early it was having a captcha so i have removed the captcha from here now you don't need to worry about the captcha and then it is actually blocking the automation and all those things you don't need to worry about that the captcha is not there and no otp nothing you just simple fill the form and then do the registration and there are some standard validations are already there for example let's see if i click on continue without filling anything so there are various uh, error messages and validation messages also coming like first name must be between one to 32 characters and all those things email address not a valid email address and all those things that i've already added here <clears throat> it's already there okay so if you really want to do some negative testing that also uh, you can perform here with this particular application so i hope this is cool just start using it explore it i don't have any limitation that how many users i can create you have full liberty of creating n number of users maybe i'll do some uh, maintenance in every one week or 15 days maybe for five ten minutes application might go down uh, but that is also like very very rare or maybe i'm just going to refresh the database of any uh, dummy or any uh, sample users are there maybe i can delete those users but later on you can just create the users once again if you really want to do that so that's all for this video i hope you liked it share this video with others and uh, let me know in case of any issues or you let me know if you really want to add more products or more features for this application later on i'll be publishing the apis and the database also so that you guys can practice apis and the database as well for with this same application thank you so much guys